While there are unexplained happenings that we consider to be a miracle or just simply a science blunder, there are many things that were unusual, yes, but eventually explainable. In recent years, various natural disasters have appeared more and more often. All over the world, there are cataclysmic events that should make us begin to seriously think about the future of our planet. Here are five strange natural phenomena that happened on Earth. Mysterious Craters In 2014, massive holes began appearing in parts of Siberia. One giant crater in the Yamal Peninsula spanned more than 100 feet wide, gaining international attention and prompting theories about how it could have formed. In the following year, dozens more of these mystery holes were spotted nearby. Since then, scientists have been able to determine that the mystery hole wasn't an impact from a meteorite. The most likely explanation so far? Is the Siberian permafrost exploding? Recent reports out of the Arctic Circle suggest that methane pockets are erupting and causing huge craters. But scientists aren't so sure that these features are necessarily the result of detonations or that they are even new. A Siberian Times article suggests that 7,000 underground gas bubbles are set to explode on the peninsulas of Yamal and Gaidan as a result of melting permafrost. The article differentiates these small gas bubbles from enormous craters in the tundra landscape, but asserts that the huge craters are the result of subsurface methane gas exploding as global warming heats up Earth. That is far from certain, scientists told Live Science. In fact, the craters may be thousands of years old. The local inhabitants told scientists that they have seen bright flashes of light not so far away from the strange craters. Most researchers believe that these flashes of light are the result of an explosion of underground gas, and it is because of them that these mysterious holes were formed in the ground. This version was supported by well-known archaeologists who study Siberia and the Arctic. However, many of their colleagues refuse this opinion, since they believe that unstable methane, which can explode from time to time, is located in the depths of the Earth at a depth of over 650 feet. In those holes that formed on the Yamal Peninsula are not so deep. By the way, scientists call the deepest lake on the planet Baikal, a bomb that exploded at any time. This assumption arose from the fact that during the exploration of bottom of Lake Baikal, Cracks were found in the crust, and it is likely that the very unstable methane from which is believed to have caused the strange craters to appear has appeared in the lake. Giant Cracks Is planet Earth about to change dramatically? It seems that as life on Earth takes a dramatic turn for the worse, the planet itself is undergoing dramatic changes of its own, a la the times of Noah. Giant cracks are appearing in the Earth more and more. Is the Earth yet again dividing? From sinkholes to huge fissures, there is an increased report of this around the globe. Many are aware of the huge crack in Ethiopia that occurred without earthquake and seems to signal the birth of a new ocean. But the Ethiopian crack is not the only very large crack in recent times. Another has appeared in Peru, near Lake Titicaca. It is over 100 meters wide in places and 15 kilometers long. Bolivia is seeing cracking appear. In Iceland, an entire lake is disappearing into a huge crack in the Earth. These cracks are not always due to earthquakes. Cracks in the Earth are appearing even in the USA. In Claude, Texas, a rather large one appeared that is 50 feet deep and drained out a large pond. Geologists say this crack is a joint in the Earth that has weakened its hold. The Earth is separating. They are a sign that something very significant is going on inside the Earth itself. They are becoming, along with sinkholes, increasingly more common. A rather curious crack appeared in Michigan in October 2010, just after Barack Obama told Israel they had to stop building in Jerusalem. This crack in the earth is over 600 feet long and 5 feet deep in places, but is now enlarging and getting bigger. Heat is said to emanate from within it. Some areas around it thrust up over 15 feet in a matter of seconds. Trees have been pushed sideways. People living nearby heard a boom and then found the rift.
勝負かもちょっとこれはひどHailstorm. A surprisingly violent hailstorm, accompanied by heavy rain, hit the city of Corrientes and its surroundings on February 8, 2018. The hail started around 4.30 in the afternoon in Cordoba, Argentina. At first, it was tiny and fun, but then it changed. Hailstones larger than tennis balls began to fall from the sky, eventually growing to mammoth size. Local residents assumed that the hail was large, but when it fell, it partially split. Can you imagine such a thing? Such a storm can not only leave a dent in the roof of a car, but also cripple it, to say the least. It is noteworthy that this happens more and more often all over the world, even in countries where this has never happened. For example, on February 24th in the city of Medina, Saudi Arabia, a storm passed through with pouring rain and hailstones the size of a quail egg. Mexico was hit by a freak early morning storm that saw hail pile up to nearly five feet leaving cars and roads buried underneath. Even some trucks and lorries were stranded by the sudden icy storm. Oh my God, dude, I seriously, you do this, dude. <laughs> Roads were blocked and extensive damage was reported as the heavy rain and large hail struck around 1 a.m. on Sunday local time, according to authorities. In the worst affected areas, hail was pushed into homes as residents battled to dig out their property and vehicles. Army and emergency services personnel were drafted in to work through the night to clear the roads, according to the Mexican media. Bird Apocalypse 
The massive murmuration took place in Austin, Texas in the United States, and even closed the lane of the highway. The birds can initially be seen perched on railings, but as the traffic passes by, they suddenly take flight. The flock spreads and fills the skies, creating incredible silhouettes against the sun. One eyewitness who filmed the amazing sight said, I was in the car with my friend driving along the highway in traffic, when suddenly, huge flocks of birds started flying and landing on the edge of the highway. Cars had to move out of the lane because there were so many. It was really cool, but kind of scary. After just three weeks, the birds behaved strangely in the Mexican town of Chihuahua. They completely lost their landmarks, tossed, and fell crashing against the asphalt. Scientists cannot explain the behavior of the birds in both cases. So what would cause hundreds of birds to fall from the sky? Some people are saying aliens. Others are saying maybe it was lightning or they were poisoned. But in this circumstance, none of those are the case. Ice Tsunami Beachfront property makes for some pretty damn amazing views, whether it's in the summer as the waves crash in or in the winter when everything is iced over. Except, of course, when the ice crawls up out of the water and goes on a murderous rampage against your house and family. Okay, maybe the ice isn't actively seeking destruction and mayhem when it comes on land in a phenomenon known as an ice tsunami. Ice shoves occur when strong winds or currents force the ice from the water's surface to go on land. These events are also called ice tsunamis because of the way they come on land, but ice shoves are closer to icebergs than tsunamis in how they work. The force from the ice shove can be powerful enough to knock over trees, houses, and docks that stand in its way. Earlier this year, an ice shove occurred on the coast of Lake Winnebago, and Jim Morgenstern caught the event on film. In addition to piling up in the backyard shown in this video, ice also crept into the road, blocking the flow of traffic. This rather unusual phenomenon has also occurred on the coast town of Fort Erie in the Canadian province of Ontario. The ice tsunami, which according to eyewitnesses in some places reached a height of 40 feet, it was so powerful that it carried trees and streetlights in its path. A similar pattern was observed in other areas along the lake, including the Hoover Beach in Hamburg near Buffalo, where piles of ice rose to a height of 30 feet. Jack Schultz, one of the locals, told the Buffalo News newspaper, For the first time in my entire life, I saw such a natural phenomenon so close to my own home. The ice sheets grew layer by layer, sweeping away everything in its path. Witnesses also compared the sound of the tsunami with the crash of a passing train or automobile. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by clicking the like button. Do share, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.